So find yourself at the front of your mat or the space that you're using. Just make sure that you have enough space to go back for sun salutations in a bit. What you want is to feel your feet on the ground and to reach up through the back of your scalp to find a tall, steady, standing position. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, and press down into your feet. Find the big toe mounds of the feet, press them down, find pinky toe down, mounds, press them down, and find your heels. Press down into all three points of each foot. Feel a lift from the inner feet, a lift from the outer knees, and a lift from the pelvic floor. Pull the shoulders all the way back, shoulder blades down and reach up through the back of your skull. Relax the muscles of your face and concentrate on your breath. Bring all of your attention to your breath. Notice how you're breathing today. to your lower ribs, the floating ribs. Exhale the ribs in. As you inhale, try to hold the rib cage closed and inhale all the way up. Hold the ribs closed, exhale. Keep the lower belly in and inhale. Exhale, keep pressing the feet down, keep reaching up through the crown of the head and inhale, keep the rib cage closed. We want to keep these engagements, pulling up the pelvic floor, pulling the lower belly in and up and keeping the ribcage closed as we're breathing. So keep breathing in this way, allow your arms to come to your sides. And if you want to, you can connect with your Ujjayi breath by contracting the muscles at the lower part of the throat, making an ocean-like sound. hands to heart center, we'll start our practice with an OM. So press down into the feet, reach the crown of the head up and inhale for OM. Target the center of your chest. Inhale. Sides, keep reaching up through the back of the skull and reconnect with your breath. Press down into the feet, reach the pelvic floor up, pull lower belly in and up, keep the rib cage closed. You can again make that ocean like sound with the breath or have a steady, continuous, deep breath. We'll start right away with our sun salutations. So press down into the feet, pull the belly in, inhale, reach the arms up, gaze up, stretch up. And exhale, fold over the legs. Keep the lower belly in. Reach sit bones up to the sky. Inhale, pick up the chest. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. And then exhale, walk back. Bring the knees down, elbows in. Chaturanga, so modify, modify on the knees. Inhale, slide forward. Press the feet down, upward facing dog. And exhale, push into the arms. Downward facing dog. In this first down dog, pedal the knees. Stretch the toes, stretch the ankles. Do any movement you need to do after a long day. And then press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades and relax the head. Find stillness in your down dog and breathe deeply. Find your uh, engagements again. So press down into the feet, push this, the heels back and reach the seat bones up to the sky. You can always bend the knees to have some more access to the pelvis. Pick up the pelvic floor, pull the lower belly in, push into the arms and widen the shoulder blades. Inhale deeply here. Exhale, see if you can send the heels back. If you need to keep the knees bent, that's perfectly fine. Gaze forwards, inhale, bend the knees, push into the arms. Exhale, widen the shoulder blades, keep the knees in, get ready to walk or jump forward. Inhale, walk or jump to the front of the mat, gaze forward and then exhale, Fold over the legs. Keep pressing the balls of the feet down. Push into the balls of the feet. Inhale, come up. 
reach up, gaze up, and exhale, arms by your sides. Again, inhale the arms up, keep pressing, lift down, reach up through the arms, and exhale, fold down. Keep the lower belly in, send sit bones up, inhale, pick up the chest, keep on curling the tailbone back, and exhale, walk or hop back, chaturanga, you can bring the knees down again. Inhale, upward facing dog, press down into all knuckles, pick up the chest, exhale, downward facing dog for five breaths. Find stillness here, press into the arms, reach the sit bones up, and reach the heels up if needed. Otherwise, reach the heels back and keep stretching the back of the legs for five. Push into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, relax the head, four, four. Pick up the pelvic floor, so think of the six bones coming in so that you contract the muscles at the pelvis, four, three. Pull the lower belly in, the ribs in, reach away through the arms, four, two, and keep breathing through these straight lines. Four, one, bend the knees, gaze forward, inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift, and exhale, fold over the legs, keep the weight coming forward, press into the balls of the feet, and inhale, come up, reach up, gaze up, exhale, arms by your side, Surya Namaskara B, Sun Salutation B, inhale, bend the knees, bring the weight to the heels, and bring the arms up, reach up, exhale, fold over the legs, inhale, half lift, press into the arms, pick up the chest, and then exhale, chaturanga. You can walk or hop back. You can always bring the knees down. Inhale, forward, upward facing dog. Press the tops of the feet down. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pick up the hips. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale, right foot forward. Left heel down. Pull the belly in and reach the arms up. Water one. And exhale, fold forward. Press into the arms. Keep the elbows in as you push into the ground. Inhale, come forward. Upward facing dog, press the tops of the feet down, and exhale, downward facing dog. Keep the lower belly in, pick up the six bones. Inhale, the left foot forward, water one. Press the right heel down, pick up the pubis, pick up the chest, reach the arms up, and exhale, chaturanga. Again, you can bring the knees down. Inhale, upward facing dog, keep pressing all knuckles onto the ground. Exhale, dolphin pose. So go to down dog if you need to, or come to dolphin. Elbows down, press into the inner hands and the outer elbows, and breathe, four, five. Keep the lower belly in, keep widening the shoulder blades, four, four. If you can, walk the feet forward, keep the sit bones reaching up, four, three. Widen the shoulder blades with every inhale, reach the sit bones up with every exhale, four, two. And one, back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, gaze forward, inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift, and exhale, fold over the legs, all the way at the balls of the feet. Inhale, weight on the heels, bend the knees, Utkatasana, and exhale, come up, Tadasana. One more, inhale, Utkatasana, bend the knees, gaze up, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, Chaturanga. Elbows in, armpits to heels. Inhale forward, pick up the chest, and exhale back. Inhale the right foot forward, water one position, reach up, and exhale, come down right away. Pull the belly in, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, water one, and exhale, fold. Follow your breath. Keep the engagement. Inhale forward. Keep the pelvic floor engaged. The lower belly in. And exhale. Push back. Downward facing dog or dolphin. Again, you can bring the feet in and breathe in your dolphin. If you need to go to child's pose, child's pose is always an option. If you want to, pick up one leg and gaze in between the forearms. Four, five. Keep the lower belly in and keep reaching the heel up. Four, four. Four, three. Switch legs if your leg is up. Four, two, keep reaching up and away through the top heel. Four, one, bring the feet down, come back to downward facing dog. Gaze forward, bend the knees and inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift. Exhale, fold over the legs, weight on the balls of the feet. Inhale, come up, Utkatasana, weight on the heels. And exhale, come all the way up. Let's do a different chair. So open up the feet, hip distance apart, bring the arms up and come to sit back and sit down, four, five. 
Keep the lower belly in, keep pressing the feet down. Four, four. Keep pressing outer feet down, pick up the pubis, pick up the chest. Four, three. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Four, two. Press the feet down so hard that you feel the thighs working. Four, one. Press feet down, come up. Come to the tops of the balls of the feet. And then come back and sit with the heels lifted. Four, five. Keep the lower belly in, the heels lifted. Four, four. Press the balls of the feet down, feel the thighs working. Four, three. Two. Don't forget to breathe. And one. Press to come up. And exhale, heels down. Hands at the waist. Inhale, pick up the chest. And exhale, fold over the legs. Three. Grab the big toes. Inhale, pick up the chest again. And then exhale, fold by bending the elbows to the sides, four, five. Again, if you need to bend the knees, just make sure that you're uncurling the tailbone up, four, four. Eventually, you want the legs to be straight and all the way to come forward, four, three. So press the balls of the feet down strongly, feel the kneecaps lifting, the thighs working, four, two. And uh, press into the balls of the feet, inhale, half lift. And exhale, bring the hands under the feet. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, fold, four, five. Keep the weight at the balls of the feet and press the tops of the hands on the ground, four, four. Pick up the thighs, lift the sit bones up to the sky, four, three. Allow the shoulder blades to go towards the sacrum, away from the head, and the crown of the head to come towards the ground, four, two. And remember, it all starts from your deep core. So lift the pelvic floor towards the crown of the head, pull the lower belly in towards the crown of the head, pick up the rib cage towards the crown of the head. Press balls of the feet down, inhale, pick up the chest, and then exhale, bring your hands at the mat, feet just a small step back, and bring all the weight to the arms. Widen the shoulder blades and breathe, four, five. So all the weight on the arms, this is a handstand press, four, four. Come to your tippy toes, reach the hips up, four, three. Widen the shoulder blades, keep pressing hands down, four, two, and one, chaturanga, hop or walk back. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right foot forward, high lunge, so press the ball of the left foot down, squeeze the left glute, and reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers, just the index fingers lifting up, and gaze up, reach higher up through the hands, and back through the fingers, four, five. Press the feet down, activate your glutes, four, four. Keep the hands reaching back, the arms straight, four, three. Lower belly in, lift up through the ribcage, four, two. Squeeze the elbows together, squeeze the wrists together, four, one. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, twist to the right. Hands at the center of the chest, four, five. Keep pressing the feet down, straighten the back leg, four, four. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and push the left chest to the side. Four, three. So use your elbow against the knee to help with the twist. Four, two. And one. Press feet down, pull our belly, come back to center, reach up. And then exhale, bring the back foot in a hair, straighten the leg, arms behind the back. Grab the elbows or bring the hands in reverse prayer and fold over the leg, pyramid fold. Inhale, pick up the chest and curl the tailbone and exhale, fold over the leg, four, five. Keep breathing, four, four. Straighten the legs, activate the legs, four, three. Pull the lower belly in, pick up the chest, four, two. Hands pressed together if they're in prayer, four, one. Bring all the way to the front foot, standing splits. So press into the standing foot and find some balance, four, five. Really press into the standing leg, four, four. Lower belly in, chest towards the foot, four, three. Lift the other leg higher up, heel up, four, two. And one, hands to the ground, press into the hands, chaturanga. Maybe left foot stays lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, high lunge. Press into the feet, activate the glutes, Pick up the ribs and inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers the other way, opposite pinky and opposite thumb on top. Reach up 
and exhale, hands go back, four, five. Keep the lower belly in, activate the glutes, four, four. Pick up the ribcage, pick up the chest, four, three. Squeeze the elbows together, squeeze the wrists together, four, two, and bring the hands further back, four, one. Inhale, come back to center, good job. Exhale, twist to the left, four, five. Four, four. Press the feet down, activate the legs. Four, three. Pull lower belly in and towards the chest. Four, two. Press elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Four, one. Press to come up, reach up and straighten the legs. Bring the back foot in, the internal rotation of the shoulders, arms behind the back in any variation. Inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, fold over the leg. Press the feet down, activate the legs, inhale, pick up the chest a bit more, and exhale, fold a bit deeper, four, five. Press the hands together, four, four. Keep the lower belly in and towards the foot, four, three. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, crown of the head away from the sacrum, four, two. And one all the way on the front foot, standing splits, four, five. Any variation, you can keep the back foot on the toes. Four, four, just feel the weight on the front foot. Four, three, maybe you can straighten the left leg. Four, two, and one. Hands on the ground, push, chaturanga, maybe three, leg it. Inhale, come up, keep the right foot up if you want to, and exhale, three, leg it dog. Okay, from here you can rest, or you can push into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, bend the left knee, and hop for handstand, four, five. So hips over the hands, do a few hops, four, four. Keep pressing the arms down, widen the shoulder blades. Four, three, try with the other leg. So switch legs, keep breathing, four, two. And one, back to your downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward, warrior two position. So open up so that the left foot is parallel to the small side of the mat and the right knee is at a 90 degree angle. Pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down and gaze beyond the right fingertips. Four, five. Four, four. Deepen your breath. Four, three. Press the feet down, activate the legs. Four, two. Keep lifting up to pelvic floor through rib cage. Four, one. Right elbow to the right knee. Extended side angle. Pull the right shoulder blade down and reach the left hand away. Four, five. You can relax the head. We can find any variation. Four, four. Three. Keep pressing the feet down to activate the left glute, the right thigh. Four, two. And keep lifting up through the back bottom ribs. Four, one. Press the feet down, inhale, come back to center, and exhale, reverse the warrior. Four, five. Press the feet down, really activate the legs. Four, four. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back and reach the right fingers away. Four, three. Again, you can relax the head. Four, two. Keep the front foot pressing down, knee bent, thigh active. Four, one. Pressing to the feet to inhale and come up, straighten the legs and bring the back foot in for triangle pose, Trikonasana. Inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, hinge from the hips, grab the shin or the big toe. Reach up through the arm, four, five. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, four, four. If you want to gaze up, you can first gaze back towards the big toe of the left foot and then turn the gaze up, four, three just to make sure that the neck is long. Four, two. And one, pressing to the feet, inhale, come up gracefully, bend the knee, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, warrior two position, five breaths. Keep grounding down through the feet and keep breathing. Keep 
reaching our way through straight arms. Side angle. Exhale the elbow to the left knee and bring the right arm overhead. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back and reach away through the right fingertips. Press into the feet and inhale, come back up. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Keep the front knee bent, keep the feet active. Breathe deeply. Pull belly in, inhale, come back to center, straighten the legs. Bring the back foot in, pick up the chest, and exhale, find your triangle variation. Hand can be as high as needed, or maybe you grab the big toe. Keep reaching up through the right arm for five. So keep the arms straight and the legs straight for four. Press into the feet, feel the legs activating, pull the belly, pick up the chest for three. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, the back of the crown reaching away from the sacrum. Four, two, and breathe into these straight lines. Four, one, press into the feet, inhale, come up, bend the front knee and exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Option to rest, you can come to child's pose. If you want to work with forearm stance, press into the arms, inner hands and outer elbows and come forward. Dolphin pose. Make sure that the shoulders are open, so keep pressing the shoulders towards the feet and then bring one leg up and look in between the forearms. Then you can do small hops again, four or five. Maybe you stick it up and you press to find the balance, four or four. Again, make sure you try with both legs. Four, three, keep the lower belly active, whatever you do. Four, two, and the sit bones lifting up. Four, one. Okay, come back to center, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, gaze forward, inhale, walk or hop forward, and exhale, fold down. Inhale, Utkatasana, bend the knees, bring the arms up, and then exhale, come up and bring the right arm under the left, Garudasana. So right arm under, hook the elbows, make the hook the wrists. Pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down the back. Sit back and sit low. Pick up the right leg and bring it over the left and maybe hook the foot. Sit lower, pick up the chest, four, five. Keep pressing the left foot down, activate the left thigh, four, four. Squeeze the knees together, activate the glutes. Four, three. Squeeze the elbows together, pick up the chest. Four, two. Keep the shoulder blades down the back. And one. Press foot down, inhale, come back up. Reach the arms up. Other side, exhale, left arm under right. Find your arms variation. Pull shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Sit low and pick up the left leg. Four, five. Sit lower if possible and pick up the chest, four, four. Keep squeezing the pelvic floor, keep the lower belly in, four, three. Keep breathing with the rib cage closed, four, two. And then one, press into the foot, come up, reach the arms up. And then exhale, grab the right foot from the inside. Inhale, reach up through the left arm, down through the right knee. And exhale, swipe the knee, standing bow, four, five. Keep the standing leg straight and kick up through the other leg, four, four. Keep the lower belly in, keep reaching forward through the hand, four, three. Four, two, charge it a bit lower. And one, kick to come out. Come to standing and take five deep breaths, standing. Stay as still as possible. Notice what's happening. 
with your body, with your mind, and stay as the observer, the witness of everything. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, inhale the arms up, reach up, and then exhale, grab the left foot from the inside, other side. So keep reaching up through the right arm, down through the left knee, inhale, and exhale, swipe the legs, keep the standing legs strong and straight, four, five. Bring all the weight to the ball of the foot, reach forward through the hand, four, four. Kick a bit higher with the left foot, four, three. Keep the lower belly in, four, two. Charge it a bit lower, four, one. Kick to come out, and again, take five deep breaths. Standing head to knee pose. Bring all the weight to the left foot. Pick up the right knee, flex the right foot. Bring the hips over the left foot. Exhale and flex the spine. Grab the shin or the foot. And then stay here or inhale, extend the leg. Keep the foot flexed. Exhale, bend the elbows, head to knee, four, five. Keep both legs strong, four, four. Press into the standing leg, into the ball of the foot, four, three. Pull the shoulder blades down, keep flexing the front of the body, four, two, and one. Inhale, bring the chest up and come out one step at a time. Press the right foot down, inhale the left knee up. No time to think about it. Bring the hips forward and flex the spine, grab the shin or the foot. Stay here or extend. Stay here or bend the elbows, head to knee, four, five. Four, three, flex the feet, four, two, and one, pick up the chest and come out slowly. Make sure you're at the front of your mat, inhale the arms up, reach up, and exhale, come down, we're coming to the ground, inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, float back, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the hands just a bit towards your feet. Widen the shoulder blades, bend the knees. So we want to hop through. You want to keep the knees close to the chest and cross the shins on the way. Press into strong arms, straight arms. Widen the shoulder blades, gaze forward. That's the direction where you're heading. Make a prayer and hop. One more, another time yourself sitting down. Straighten the legs. Flex the feet, send the sit bones back. Again, if you have hamstrings that are quite stiff, feel free to bend the knees. Keep on curling the tailbone back. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, pull belly in and come forward. Grab big toes or hands to the ground. Four or five breaths. Heels reach towards, well, away from you so that the pubis comes back. Four, four. Keep the lower belly in and pick up the rib cage. Four, three. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and the crown towards the feet. Four, two. And one. Inhale, pick up the chest. Good job. And exhale, release. Bring the right knee in. Mighty asana. So press the feet down. Pick up the chest and exhale, go to the inside. Find internal rotation of the right arm and go around. So hug your right shin. Inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, fold forward. In your, if it's accessible, you can bring the left hand behind the back and grab the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale, bring the chest a bit closer to the feet and exhale, pull the lower belly in, reach the ribcage forward. Four, three. Two, and one, pull belly in, inhale, bring the chest up, and exhale, release, open up the foot, Janushri Shasana, there's different variations, you can keep the foot to the inside of the leg, 
or you can turn the foot so that the uh, sole of the foot is facing up, press into the hands and have the heel attached to the inner groin and press the knee down, but actually the hip comes up, so the right hip comes up. If it's too much, go for the previous variation. So pull the belly in, pick up the chest, keep the left leg straight if, if available, pick up the chest and exhale, fold forward. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you grab the right wrist with the left hand. Four or five. Keep the foot pressing forward. Four or four. Keep reaching the left sit bone back. Four or three. Keep the left thigh active, strong. Four or two. Pull the shoulder blades down. And if you want to, pull with the elbows forward. Four or one. Inhale, pick up the chest halfway. And exhale, release. Switch sides, bring the leg in, bring the left foot in, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, Marichasana. Bring the left arm to the inside, internal rotation and go all around. You can stay here and breathe or grab the right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, bring the chest towards the foot for five. Press the left foot down onto the ground and flex the right foot for three. Reach the right sit bone back, pull the belly in and towards the foot, four, two. And one. Keep the le right leg active, inhale, pick up the chest. Exhale, release, but keep the right quad working. Open up the foot in any variation. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, pull belly in, go for the foot. Hands on the ground, on the foot, or grab left wrist, four, five. Flex the right foot, lift the left hip, four, four. Pull the belly in and towards the foot, four, three. Again, if possible, pull shoulder blades down the back and reach elbows towards the front, four, two. And one, good, inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, release. Bring the foot in, extend. Hands back, pick up the chest, point the feet, and then from here, walk the fingers forward, but keep the chest open. Shift your weight back and pick up the legs. Navasana, boat pose, four, five. Straighten the legs, four, four. Four, three, keep the lower belly in and up, maybe lift the legs higher, four, two. And one, knees in, feet in. Maybe bring the arms up and push forward. And then from here, reach the legs up, four, five. If needed, bring the hands to the ground, four, four. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulder blades down the back, four, three. Keep the lower belly in, pick up the chest, four, two, really straighten the legs, four, one. Feet on the ground, push and come up. Twist to the left, pull the belly in, pick up the chest and twist to the left. Keep the knees together and the feet together. Hands on the ground, bring the elbows in and gaze towards the direction where your hands are. So towards the left. Go that way, round the back. Stay here or lift right foot and maybe left, four, five. So keep pressing into the hands and round the back, four, four. Lift, uh, feet don't have to lift, four, three. Pull the shoulder blades down, four, two. And slowly come back. If you needed to do any variations, I trust that you did them. Pick up the chest and exhale, twist to the other side. Hands at the center of the chest, pull shoulder blades down, pull the belly in, four, five. Press the knees together, four, four. Reach the chest towards the right, four, three. Pull shoulder blades down, four, two. Side crow, hands on the ground, elbows in. Push into the hands, four, five. Again, maybe you're on the ground, keep rounding, 4-4, four, four. keep the weight on the hands, 4-3, elbows in, shoulder blades towards the sacrum, 4-2, and again, it starts with the left foot lifting, and maybe the right, 4-1, and the balance is on that edge, where you feel you're going to fall, that's when you should catch yourself right before falling, pick up the chest, come back to center, and exhale, push the hands down to kick back for Chaturanga. So press into the arms. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Inhale, come forward, plank. 
and exhale, bend the elbows, bring the shoulders forward to come down all the way. Hands by your sides, press the tops of the, feet, the hands on the ground. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, pick up the legs. Four, five. Four, pull the lower belly in, keep pressing, cubies on the ground. Four, three. Two. Bring the hands next to the ribs, elbows in, pick up the chest, four, five. Keep the legs up, four, four. Lower belly in, chest up, four, three. Elbows in, shoulders back, four, two. Pick up the chin, pick up the feet, four, one. Inhale, upward facing dog, press the feet down, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward for cobra, exhale, come down. Stretch the legs back, point the feet. Press all ten toes down so strongly that the kneecaps come over the floor. Bring the hands under the shoulders, the elbows in. And then inhale, pick up the chest. Exhale, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Four, five. Bring the chin forward, the chin up. Four, four. Bring the inner shoulder blades together and push them forward. Four, three. Use your elbows, bend elbows, to pull everything in. So elbows in. Four, two. And use your hands to drag everything forward. Four, one. Inhale. And exhale, come down. Press into the feet. Inhale, upward facing dog. Optional. If you want to skip it, skip it. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward. And exhale, come down slowly. Bend the knees. Bring the feet together. And bring the arms back. Inhale, pick up the chest. Keep, pick up the feet. And exhale, go for the Tops of the feet with the hands. Four, five. Maybe you don't catch anything, stay there. Four, four. If you catch, then use the glutes to lift up. Four, three. Pick up the chest, pick up the chin. Four, two. Kick a bit higher using the glutes. Four, one. Slowly come down. All right, let's move on. Press the hands down. Elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward. Plank and exhale, side plank. Right hands to the center of the mat. Turn to the left, pick up the hips. Reach the arm up, four, five. You can always bring the right knee down or lift the left leg, four, four. If you want to bend the left knee, grab the big toe and open up, four, three. Four, two, press the hand on the ground, lift the hips, four, one. Switch sides. Find the same variation, four, five, four, three, two, and one, good job, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. One more hop through, so walk the hands back, bend the knees, gaze forward, widen the shoulder blades, and then hop through. You might have to walk. We can teach hop throughs next time. So lie down on your back, open up the feet, mat distance apart. Bring the hips closer to the heels. Inhale, posterior pelvic tilt. So find your pubis, send it up towards the sky. And bring the arms behind the back, interlace the fingers, walk the shoulders in. Four, five. Press the feet down, lift up the chest. Four, four. Move the knees away from you. Use your glutes. Four, three. Keep the lower belly in the rib cage in. Four, two. And one, exhale, calm down. Option, dynamic bridge. So pressing down to the feet, inhale the hips up, arms overhead, and exhale, arms down, hips down. Option, full wheel. So if you want to go for wheel pose, hands next to the ears, press the elbows into the wrists so that the chest pops up, pull belly in, posterior pelvic tilt, reach the hips up, and push. Four, five. Remember, dynamic bridge is an option. Four, four. Keep pressing the hands down. Four, three, if you want to walk the hands a bit closer to the feet. Four, two, keep breathing. Four, one, very slowly, chin in and calm down. Extend the arms, extend the legs. Reach away through arms and legs, inhale. 
hold the inhale and sit up. Bring the hands on the ground, bend the knees, and come to a slow squat again. So squat on your heels, open up the knees, crow pose. If you already have crow, knees behind the armpits, then go for it. Otherwise, knees outside the upper arms, elbows in, and round the back. Four, five. Bring all the weight to the arms. Four, four. Feet don't have to lift, just feel the weight on the arms. Four, three. Keep pressing the hands down, maybe lift one foot, maybe both. Four, two. Keep gazing forward, the direction where you want to go to. And one. Exhale, you can hop back, Chaturanga, or you can calm down. If you're doing Chaturanga, do the Vinyasa, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog, and then you'll hop through. So one way or another, come to a seat. Bring the right shin on top of the left shin, and walk the hands back, pick up the chest, double pigeon. So feet flexed, shin over shin. Feel the hips opening up. Four, five. If you're ready for it, you can come forward so that the shins are one on top of the other and send the uh, pelvis back, the pubic bone back. Four, four. Lengthen your breath. Four, three. Keep the chest up wherever you are. Pull the shoulder blades down. Four, two. And one. Inhale, pick up the chest, move the foot out of the way, and switch sides. Left shin on top, hands back, pick up the chest. Four, five. Four, keep the feet flexed, keep thinking of the hips coming into the pelvis, the knees moving away. If you're ready, you can walk the hands forward. Four, three. Two, wherever you are, think of pubic bone moving back. And one, inhale, pick up the chest and move the foot out of the way. Release, so come out of it and bring the feet together, open up the knees. Bhadakonasana, send the hips back. Inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, maybe stay up or fold. Again, you want the pubis to move back. Anterior pelvic tilt, four, five. Really uncurl the tailbone back and up. Four, four, three, two, and one, pull belly in, pick up the chest, bring the knees in. Rabbit pose or headstand. For rabbit pose, come to hands and knees, round the back, pull the shoulder blade towards the hips, and place the crown of the head on the ground. You can stay here, or you can release the arms back to have some more weight on the head. If it's too much, keep weight on the arms. If you want to go even further, bend the knees and grab the feet. If you're going for headstand, then interlace the fingers, hug your head, and bring the elbows in so that they're at shoulder width opening. Tuck the toes, you can again stay here, or lift the hips and start walking towards the elbows. No jumping. If you want to, bring one knee in, and maybe you bring both and you breathe. Four, five. You can also use the wall. Four, four. Wherever you are, press the head on the ground, activate the neck. Four, three. Leave the shoulder blades away from the crown of the head. Four, two. And one. If you want to, stay a bit more. Otherwise, child's pose. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, and pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum. Pull the lower belly towards the chest. Inhale deeply with the ribcage closed. Open the mouth and exhale. Two more times. Bring the hands forward, press down, come to all fours. Inhale the right arm overhead, reach up, 
and then exhale, twist by bringing the arm under the armpit. Keep the lower belly, keep the hips square, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Pull the belly in, inhale. And exhale, pull shoulder blades down, reach the crown of the head away from the knees. Pull the belly in, reach the heels, the six bones up, and curl the tailbone. And exhale, pull the belly in and twist a bit more, pushing the left hand on the ground, bringing the left elbow over uh, the left, the left shoulder over the right shoulder. Pull the belly in and inhale, come back to center. Come back up all the way and exhale the hand on the ground. Inhale the left arm up and then thread it under the armpit. Start where you are and breathe. Keep the hips square. Inhale, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, and exhale, push with the right arm, bring the right elbow further to, towards the left shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades down, and breathe. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Exhale, send the six bones further back. Press the right hand down, inhale, come back up, reach up, and then exhale. Come forward, lie under your belly. Option to stay here for your Shavasana. So forehead on the forearms, heels playing out or feet playing out. Let go of the breath, of the engagements. Allow the breath to be relaxed and natural. Inhale and allow the belly to expand. And exhale, allow everything to come back in. Inhale into the lower belly, push it onto the ground. Open the mouth and exhale out. One more time, pull shoulder blades down the back, crown of the head, away from the shoulder blades, inhale. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Good job everyone, you can stay lying face down or turn around, lie on your side or lie face up. Scan your body for any area of tension and allow your natural exhale to take that tension away, to take that stiffness away. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw and allow your eyes to close and to be completely soft. For the next few moments, allow your body to be completely still. And allow the practice to find itself in your whole body, every single cell of your body to get nourished, to get rejuvenated and to receive the wisdom of the practice. Stay still, relax, and just observe the progress. Observe your upgrade. Relax.
perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely that when others see it, they know exactly how it should be done. to the space occupied by your body, back to your breath, take a deep deep breath into your belly, and exhale and empty your lungs, again deep inhale, into the fingers, into the toes, and find some movement, find some stretch. So waking up the body. Listen to how your body needs to move. Listen to how your body needs to wake up. And stretch in any way you need to. We'll meet in a seated position in one minute, so make the most of this minute to stretch, to wake up, to breathe. Find a seated position, a comfortable position where you're sitting in front of the sit bones. Send your sit bones back, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And inhale from your root all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale through the nose, allow the practice to just settle in every cell of your body. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale deeply to the crown of the head, open the mouth, and let it go. Bring your arms to heart center, allow your head to bow down, and just take a moment to appreciate life for what it is, for the fun of it, for the good, the bad, the weird, the ugly. I know that everything is there to teach us something and to help us evolve. From that place of appreciation, we'll end our practice saying Namaste as a, an indication of respect to one another. Thank you for making the time to take care of yourselves, for sharing your practice with me. What's inside me honors and celebrates what's inside you. Namaste.
Thank you everyone. Good job. It was a strong practice today. That's kind of how it will be on Tuesdays. But you survived. You made it. And on Instagram, there were some issues with Instagram Live, I guess, for my account, because I could do it just from the um, studio account, but I'll, I've been recording this, so I can upload it. So thank you, everyone. Good Thanks, job. Thanks, Alu. You're welcome.